Good day, my name is Mark Malore. I'm an attorney here in Riverside, California. I've got a number of clients in Indian Wells that are dealing with mechanics lien issues, either as homeowners or contractors trying to perfect their mechanics lien rights. So I thought it helpful to give you a few pointers about mechanics lien practice here in California, uh, so you'll know how to deal with and what you're dealing with in these particular instances. The first question asks, what kind of project am I on? Am I on a work of home improvement dealing with a residence for a homeowner, or am I on a commercial project dealing with commercial vendors? and contractors and owners of commercial property. The reason why that's important is you need to make sure that your contract complies with the Business and Professions Code in dealing with works of home improvement, which have a number of requirements to protect homeowners in contracts with contractors uh, dealing with uh, works of construction. Assuming that you are or you aren't, the next question to ask is, are you in direct contractual privity with the owner of the property that you're working on? If so, you don't have to record or, or, or rather file uh, by certified mail return receipt requested a 20-day preliminary notice. The 20-day preliminary notice is a notice which tells the property owner, the lender if any on the project, and a general contractor if you're a subcontractor or material man, that you are on the project, that you are performing work and services, and you want to let them know uh, that you have a contract in X amount of dollars and that you are working on that project. You serve that via the U.S. mail, certified mail, return receipt requested. Make sure you keep your return receipt requested cards when they come back to you and put those in the file uh, so that you have those if you have to perfect your mechanics and rights when you come to see an attorney like myself to do so. The next issue is are you not getting paid? If you're not getting paid, then within 90 days of finalizing your work or the last work you did on the project, if you're forced to leave or you leave the project for being unpaid, uh, you want to make sure you record your mechanics lien within 90 days of the last work you did on the project. And then once you record the mechanics lien, you have a 90-day window to do what we call perfect your mechanics lien rights, which essentially means you file a complaint in the local courthouse to foreclose on your mechanics lien. Without that filing of a lawsuit, your mechanics lien rights go away and you're unable to perfect your mechanics lien against the owner of the property or the general contractor or, or the person you're contracting with. So it's very important. The time frames are very specific. There's strict liability in following those. If you don't follow the particular time frames or you miss it by a day, you lose your mechanics lien rights. So it's important to pay attention to those. If you're a homeowner dealing with a contractor that hasn't complied or you're unsure of the time frames that they've got to comply, uh, feel free to give my office a call. We'd be happy to assist you and uh, give you the necessary counsel to deal with your particular situation.